In this video, I am going to simplify the rules and the admission criteria of the CFTRI MSc entrance exam. How are you doing today? This is Adi Barishad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos and tutorials for the students of food science and technology. So if you want to level up your grades and simplify your studies then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. Alright, so this is part one in which I am going to talk about the rules and the admission criteria, the major admission criteria of the CFTRI MSc entrance exam. So the rules are really important, the admission criteria is really important before you even start preparing for the actual exam. And why is that? Let, let us just take an example of PUBG. In the video games like PUBG, it is really important to understand what are the rules and how do you play the game basically. So that you can gain expertise in that game, so that you can be master of that game, so that you can win that game, right? The CFDR MSc entrance exam is also like a game. You need to understand what are the rules and you need to understand what is the admission criteria so that you can master the game of this entrance exam so that you can prepare for the exam very well. Alright, so let us talk about some of the important dates of this exam. Now, the online registration, the online application usually starts in the month of April. Last year in 2018, the online application started on 23rd of April and the entrance exam is usually held in the month of July. Now, if you want to understand what are the, if you want to get the rough idea about the dates, so what you can do, I will link a PDF in down in the description so that you that will guide you to the 2018's uh, admission notification and admission criteria. Now let us talk about one of the important criteria the eligibility criteria who is eligible for this exam. See uh, any graduate any graduate who has done bachelor's in science who has done bachelor's in engineering or technology or agriculture all of them are eligible for this exam. Another important eligibility criteria is the percentage. If you are a general category if you are from the OBC category or if you are from defense personal category then you must have secured at least 55 percent in your college degree or if you are SC or ST you must have secured at least 50 percent in your college degree. So these are the two eligibility criteria that must be satisfied if you want to take admission if you want to appear for the exam basically. So if you if you look at it closely the admission criteria is very loosely based and it is not very confined and very strict. And that is de defined in such a way that is developed in such a way so that a lot of people a maximum of candidates can apply for this exam. Another important point here is that the CFTRI MSc entrance exam is held in CFTRI Missouri. So you will have to travel to Missouri. There are no examination centers in the cities in, the, in the India. So you will have to go to Missouri and don't let that stop you. Don't let that be an obstacle for you because you will also get an opportunity to explore one of the oldest and prestigious institutes of food technology in our country in India. A lot of students ask that what is the number of seats. So the number of seats is 30 and the reservation chart must be flashing on the screen right now. Yes, I understand that the number of seats is very limited and I totally get that. If you are a student, if you are a candidate and if you are appearing, Obviously, the number of seats, the extra number of seats would have increased your probability of getting an admission, of clearing the exam. But let me tell you one thing. You only need one seat. That is all you need. So you have to stay focused on the exam. You have to stay focused on the preparation. Don't bother and don't cry and complain about the things that you cannot control. You cannot control the criteria and all these admission criteria and rules. But what you can control, you can control your preparation. You can plan your strategy. So focus on that. Now let us talk about the another important thing and that is the selection criteria. How do you get selected? Basically there are two things that you need to remember. The first one is that 50% weightage is given to the marks secured in the entrance exam and 50% weightage to your degree, to your college, that the marks that you achieved in your graduation. That means if you scored 70 marks in your entrance exam that will be divided by 2 and that will be 35 out of 50. And if you got 80% in your graduation exams, then that will be divided by 2 and that will be 40. So 40 will be out of 50 and 40 added with 35 will give you 75. So final marks will be 75 out of 100. So that will be considered for the admission process. So these were some of the important and major criteria for the CFTRI MSc entrance exam for food technology. But how are you going to prepare for this exam? What is, what is going to be your strategy? 
I have made a different video for that and I will link that video somewhere over here. It must be popping up somewhere on the screen right now. I will see you in that video.